Well, hello there, you wonderful pet parent. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. In today's video, we are talking about a diarrhea protocol for cats specifically. Now, if you are looking for a diarrhea protocol for dogs, I did that one a few weeks ago. I will have that linked in the description below. Go check that one out. But if you're here for cats, you are at the right place. Okay, so if your cat is having diarrhea, first and foremost, I wanna say thank you so much for paying attention to this. This is a crucial part of caring for our cats. And while it's important for our dogs as well, like we need to be paying attention to what comes out of our dogs, dogs often give us other warning signs, right? Like there are other symptoms going on that we can tell our dogs. Some dogs are just, you know, pathetic when they're sick, when they're not feeling well. Some of them will, you know, be less energetic and not want to play. And our dogs, we generally know, but our cats, on the other hand, they are very, very good. Very good. Now there may be some exceptions out there, but in general, our cats are very, very good at hiding when they don't feel well. So it is that much more important that we pay attention to their behaviors, to their moods, to what they're eating, how much they're eating, how often they're eating, what is coming out of them, so important. So if you have noticed, thank you so much for being the wonderful pet parent that you are. You are doing the right thing by trying to figure out what is going on. It's also really important to know that diarrhea is a symptom. So there's something going on in the body and as a result, diarrhea is occurring. So while yes, we understand that we need to treat diarrhea, especially in cats, especially when we're talking about young kittens or even older cats, diarrhea can be very, very dangerous because of dehydration, especially if your cat eats a primarily dry food diet. De they're already living every day to day in a dehydrated state because of that dry food diet. So it is that much more important that we pay attention and we know that when diarrhea occurs, we need to jump on it quick. Another thing that you want to be paying attention for, if, especially if your cat is having a bout of diarrhea, is their food intake. Because again, unlike dogs, cats, if they go too long, if they go more than two or three days without eating, um, anything, or even if they're only eating a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of food, this can be very, very dangerous and lead to something that is called fatty liver disease, which can be life threatening. So if diarrhea is persisting, if your cat is not eating for more than two to three days max, we absolutely want to get your cat into the veterinarian right away. Now, most bouts of diarrhea are going to be very short-lived. Often for cats, probably primarily for cats, it's due to a diet change, especially if your cat has been eating the same thing for a very long period of time, which a lot of our indoor cats are prone to do then any change in diet, even if it's something unintentional on your part, meaning something changed in the formulation of the same food that you were buying, that can cause GI upset in your cat. So any change in that regard can uh, lead to a bout of diarrhea because our cat's digestive tract becomes used to, this is what I eat and this is how I process it. And if anything changes, it throws everything out of whack. So one of the things that I want you to uh, know and moving forward after we get past this bout of diarrhea is that it's really important to vary our cat's diet slowly, very, very slowly. We want to introduce new things at about 10% at a time. So when we introduce something new, we want to decrease what we are currently feeding by 10% and make up that 10% with the new item and then slowly every two to three days increase that by another 10%. So very, very slowly over time, we want to start varying what we're feeding our cat. Now, if you are feeding your cat a primarily kibble or dry food diet, I would highly recommend that we at least, at the very least, switch to a high quality wet canned food diet. But the more fresh food we can add into our cat's diet, the better. So let's talk about exactly what it is we wanna do if our cat does have a bout of diarrhea. Again, generally these things are 
diet related to diet right something something changed in the diet and the gi tract got upset so generally we want to see these things resolve themselves in a day or two so the first thing you want to do is fast your cat for about 12 hours nothing more than that 12 hours is the max so make sure they have plenty of fresh clean water available but don't feed them anything for about 12 hours now once that 12 hours is up instead of going back to their regular food we want to feed them a bland diet of ground turkey and canned pumpkin and the ratio for that is going to be about 85 to 90 percent of what you feed your cat should be cooked ground turkey and the other 10 to 15 percent of that portion is going to be the canned pumpkin. Now make sure you are getting 100% pumpkin. The pumpkin pie mix is not, not okay for them to eat. It has a bunch of other stuff in it. Make sure when you buy pumpkin, it is 100% pumpkin. Now feed this bland diet until your cat's bowel movements get back to normal. Um, and again, this should take no longer than two to three days. If it's taking longer than that, you want to get into your veterinarian right away. Now, the reason you're going to want to get into your veterinarian is because if it's not just something changed in their diet, then there are other things that could be causing your cat's diarrhea. Some of them can be serious and some of these could be food allergies, something called stress colitis. And colitis is again, has to do with the digestive system and it's stress induced. Inflammatory bowel disease, pancreatitis, these can be, these can be treated, but are, are very much concerned. You wanna see your veterinarian right away. Uh, parasites, including Giardia, as well as other viral and bacterial infections hyperthyroidism, megacolon, and cancer. So as you can see, these kind of run the gamut from, oops, something changed in the diet, all the way up to, oh my goodness, something is really seriously wrong with my cat. So if diarrhea is not resolving itself within about two to three days, again, we are very concerned with dehydration. So if after two days you're not seeing any improvement, I would go ahead and call your vet. If you're on day three, you wanna get into the vet right away. Even if it's a weekend and you need to go to the emergency vet, you need to go. One other thing that you can add once you start the bland diet of cooked ground turkey and cooked pumpkin is slippery elm. So slippery elm is a neutral fiber source and it also helps ease whatever is going on in your cat's digestive system. And I also recommend adding in a really good quality probiotic to help your cat's digestive system bounce back stronger than ever. So that's basically what we do for a diarrhea protocol in our cats. Once we get through this bout of diarrhea, whatever your cat is currently going through, and we get to the other side, hopefully it was something as simple as something changed in the diet, right? Comment down below and let me know what's going on with you and your cat. I would love to be able to help you further to provide a more nutritious, better diet for your cat moving forward, help you through that transition, provide you other options to help support your cat and their health moving forward. Just comment down below and let me know. I'd love to learn more about you and your cat. Let me know a little bit about them. How old are they? How long have you had them? What's their name? all the wonderful things. Comment all of that down below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I do hope it helped. And if it did, give it a thumbs up and share it with anybody else who in your life that has cats, because this is something we just, we should just know this. So go ahead and have your friends, family, anybody with cats watch this video. So the next time this happens, you are prepared in advance. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, why not go ahead and look down there at the subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. Make sure you have all the bells and whistles and everything checked so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Also, join the Patreon family. We have a wonderful family over on Patreon. It's a very safe space. We share a lot of stuff. You get new and exclusive content over there behind the scenes, as well as first look at all of the content I put up anywhere else. You can join for as little as a dollar a month and help me continue to bring content like this to you and other pet parents. 
And make sure you check out the podcast. Just wherever you get your podcast, search The Pet Parenting Reset. Make sure to give us a follow and listen there as well. Totally different topics and subjects. I don't cover the same things on YouTube and Rumble as I do on my podcast. So make sure you are listening wherever you get your podcast. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Give your pets some extra love for me. Until next time, see you later. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm.